Hello everybody, so recently I experimented a little bit of making myself some conductive cloth uh, which is actually really easy to make and what is also really important that you can make this kind of conductive cloth really really cheap. And yeah, so this is how to say uh, some part of experimentation where I try some different combinations and uh, so on but the point of making myself this kind of conductive cloth is that this conductive cloth can be some really cheap uh, alternative to this which is this graphite felt. So this graphite felt you can buy on internet but the prices of this graphite felt going up like crazy and for this reason I was thinking that I will at least try to make myself some conductive cloth and like I said in the beginning to make this kind of conductive cloth is really easy and also really cheap because most of the materials you will already find in your home. Uh, and I think that the only material that you need to buy from internet will be of course the conductive material and for the conductive material you can use some carbon black powder or which is also a little bit more cheaper will be of course the graphite powder. The graphite powder you will find really easy on Amazon or on eBay but all other materials which you will also need to make this conductive cloth you will already find in your home. But I need to point out that the conductivity and the chemical resistance is not so superior like by this graphite felt. Because the conductivity of this conductive cloth will depend which conductive material you will use and how much conductive material you will use. And for the chemical resistance will depend what base material you will use and of course what the binder you will use. Um, so first uh, I will check the conductivity, first I will measure the square resistance of this conductive clock. And at the moment I get 19.5 ohms. Which is actually for some homemade conductive cloth not bad. But in what I'm also really interested is the conductivity in the Z direction because most of the time uh, I will make uh, myself some conductive cloth which I will use in the battery like active or host material. And for this reason it's also really important that I know what will be uh, the conductivity in Z direction because most of my battery cells I make in this sandwich like setup which means that I built the cell in Z direction and just for example if I want to make some cell then I will start with the positive current collector then on this positive current collector I will add this conductive cloth on the top I will put the separator of course the conductive cloth will be also wetted with the electrolyte then like I said on the top I will put the separator the separator will be also wetted with the electrolyte and on the top <coughs> I will put also the negative electrode which can be some zinc uh, aluminium or like I have over here some graphite now I will just check what will be the conductivity in Z direction. So here I have some metal piece and here I also have another metal piece. <coughs> now I will also push a little bit down. and I get the conductivity of 0 0.7, 0 0.6 ohms.
Not bad. And of course, besides of using this conductive cloth in some batteries, you can also use this conductive cloth to make some flexible heater. Because in this case, you just put some metal electrodes on each side and you will get yourself some flexible heater. And now I will share the process how you can make yourself some conductive cloth. Now to make this conductive cloth, in basic you will need two things. So the first thing will be of course the base material and the second thing will be uh, the conductive paint. So how you can make yourself some conductive paint, I show you in the video which the link will be in the video description. So the first thing, like I said, you will need some base material and for the base material I recommend that you will use some fiber material uh, which will soak the conductive paint really really well and one of the materials which you can use is some bamboo fiber kitchen cloth so this kind of kitchen cloth you can find uh, in some stores really really easily and they are also really really cheap and why I like this bamboo fiber uh, kitchen cloth is because uh, the cloth itself is really 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 strong and more strong will be the base material more stronger will be also the end product but of course instead of this kitchen cloth you can also use some other materials as well but like I said I recommend that you use some material which will soak some conductive paint really really well then the next thing what you will also need is of course some conductive paint and like I said before uh, how to make this conductive paint the link to the video will be in the video description but in case that you don't want to complicate things uh, and you don't want to make this kind of paint then I recommend to make yourself some really really easy paint out from some PVA white glue uh, a little bit of water and graphite powder and in this case you need to experiment a little bit with the amounts and please remember more conductive material you will use in the paint more conductive will be the conductive club and now I will show the process. So when you have your conductive paint ready, then you also need some base material, which in my case will be this bamboo fiber kitchen cloth. So you can see that here I also use this material. Uh, okay. And now I will soak the conductive paint into this bamboo fiber cloth. So actually this part is really messy but it's really important that you uh, soak the conductive paint really really good into the club. So actually take your time to impregnate uh, the conductive material into the fibers. Okay.
<laughs> really nice. <clears throat> and now what we need to do is to dry it. In case that you will use this conductive cloth uh, in your batteries, then I will show you uh, that this conductive cloth also has some really good absorption of the electrolyte. Uh, so in basic, the cloth is waterproof, but will absorb the electrolyte also really well. It just needs a little bit of time. You see? So now the electrolyte is soaked into this conductive structure of the cloth. One more time. Sometimes you need to help a little bit. Really nice. So guys, this was my little experimentation about this homemade conductive cloth, which can be made really easy and of course really cheap. I know that the conductivity and the chemical resistance can be a little bit better, but all depends what materials and how much material you will use to make this conductive cloth. So definitely I will make a little bit more experimentation about this conductive cloth in the future. But for now, I mean for the next video, I'm planning to make some activated carbon cloth, which means that instead of using some graphite, which I use over here, I will use some activated carbon powder. And then I will also try to make some supercapacitor to see how it will perform. But for now, that's it, and we see us in the next video. Bye. <laughs>